All right, so I'm not totally disappointed. We we weren't on that road that long. I mean, you know, it's, I hate being out there, and uh, we kind of dove back into the forest, and I know where we're heading. We're heading towards that dump, and uh, that's where we're going to probably run uh, into the trail at uh, four. I think it's 464 at uh, Baseline Park. So, you know, it's not that far away, but because uh, I, you know, I do know these roads here. Actually, I mean, been here three years. I'm kind of learning my way around. Um, so, anyway, I wanted to get back. Uh, a guy asked me, well, not a guy. I've had multiple comments at Parlor asking me, uh, hey, you know, how can you call yourself that cybersecurity guy? What credentials have you got? Blah, 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 blah. And that's right. And I love that. Uh, episode a righteous question your majesty <laughs> so so i thought i'd just uh kind of make this video to talk a bit about my background uh, i was in the it industry for 26 years but i was in on the government and corporate side and uh so you know while i knew a lot about uh um you know mainly uh, digital computers way back dating myself many years ago starting with the pdp 11 you know, and coming all the way up, I was a Unix administrator. Actually, I started as a programmer, a C programmer. Gosh, and how long ago was C? And then you had C++, which I programmed in that for a while, and then C Pound. Uh, I never really got into the C Pound. I used Perl. Uh, there was a lot, there's so many languages, you know, now the, everybody's into Python, and, you know, so probably that's outdated. Who knows? You know, I'm, I just haven't really kept up with it in the last four or five years. Uh, per se, but uh, you know, I got uh, I was working for um, a, a large bank I don't want to name them in a huge data center. Uh, you know when the World Trade Center went down uh, We had to build a new data center and they chose Michigan and so I got a job in there and uh, we were building out The data center and things were going great. I love the job You know you work 12-hour shift uh, three days and then you're off uh, for four days And then you work four days and you're off three days and so that was ideal for me to get out and go camping and do hiking and my career was just spiraling along you know and uh making good money uh not great uh it's still tough work don't get me wrong i mean my, you know and then but you had to be there on time and in michigan those roads can get really bad but uh so getting back to the business um at hand where did that cybersecurity guy come from you know at that time i was managing the uh, people soft software i was doing all the auto assist job scheduling and i also handled all of the uh, PGP encryption for the company, uh, you know, on a, on a global basis, uh, right through me. Um, so, you know, I was flying high, you know, got this career. I'm, you know, I'm the go-to guy for all of that stuff. And, uh, you, you know, you get a big head on your shoulders thinking, you know, look at me, beat my chest. I am, I am the computer guy at that time, like cybersecurity. Uh, now, as far as uh, security went, you know, here's a little tip for you guys if you do come up on the radar and you know the FBI is going to raid your house or <laughs> whatever you've gotten yourself into okay you're going to have to throw them a bone okay give them give them something to find so that they think they got everything and that's what we would do we would get audited uh, from time to time I won't say what corporation I was working for at that time but it was a multi-billion dollar corporation and uh, <clears throat> so when the auditors would come in, and these are supposedly cybersecurity experts, you know, they, they would, uh, we knew the tools they were gonna use and we knew where they were gonna look. So we would throw them a couple things for them to find and, uh, you know, minor, because that's what they want to do. They want to give you that slap on the wrist and say, oh, we did, look at the job we did. We saved your company, you know, which, which is total bull crap, you know. But if you don't throw something out there for them to find, they're gonna dig deeper and uh, and then, they may find something for real. Hey, daggone it, we're here. Well, that was kind of a nothing hike, wasn't it? Well, well, there's a trail over there where we came out the other day. All right, well, bummer, bummer, bummer. Well, who else going across? This is nice over here, you've already seen this. But, uh, well, anyway, that does solve the mystery. I've always been curious because I only made it to right there uh, in the past. Uh, so anyway, once they once they find that and they slap you on the wrist, then you can go back and quickly fix those things. And, and then they might even come back in and say, oh, you fixed it. Good job. You guys are here. You're, you're now secure. You know, and you just laugh at them and say, yeah, go on about your way. So, yeah, if, you, if you're going to get raided, make sure you got some computers there. 
you know, get you some backup computers, stick them someplace where they ain't going to find them, and, uh, and make sure you got, you know, some stuff on those computers that, you know, I'm not talking, you know, illegal stuff, but stuff for them to find that, you know, they're going to have to dig and uh, look at. But not just, just throwing that out there, whatever. So my whole background was, was in corporate and government security, uh, which doesn't lend itself to personal cybersecurity or small business cybersecurity. And it's incredible how different the two are. And so my idea, once I got cancer, well, I got cancer once and uh, we got me into remission, this lymphoma B cell. I uh, got into remission and, uh, you know, they did offer me my job back. I went back to that large bank and I uh, was working in the data center. Things had changed. You wouldn't believe how much things change when you're building a data center in over a six month period. And it was rough, man. I mean, because that chemotherapy had, had knocked my, me down. And those 12 hour shifts now became like, you know, a mountain to climb. And, uh, but anyway, I was getting there. I, and things were settling in. And then the cancer came back a second time. And uh, I had to get a stem cell transplant. And that, uh, that ended my career because it was going to be another year before I could get back to that job. And to their credit, they did offer me a job. It wasn't the same job and they offered what the job they offered me was just set up to it was a setup you know they don't want to they don't want a cancer survivor in these corporations you know they, they did they just don't give a crap about you as an individual and uh it was going to be 12 hours of hard physical labor because what they had done is they divided the team up into the technical team and then you had the racking stacking you know busting buns on the on the data center floor all day long team which was young kids they were all 25 to 35 probably maybe even one or two older ones you know that were still there and i just knew there was no way in hell i could do that job so i didn't even bother to go back and so i had this idea of starting a cybersecurity business and uh and i thought well hell you know nobody and i looked around you know what's the niche you're going to fill there are here are hundreds of books on government and corporate cybersecurity and uh you know what what security aspects did i do i you know basically i applied the latest updates uh to unix you know administered the computers we uh you know locked i knew how to lock down files you know make hidden files put in hidden directories and you know, all that sort of you know novice type stuff in the corporate world um you know all the encryption i could definitely have done a whole book on encryption technology but i thought hey you know there's a niche out here and that is personal and small business cybersecurity. And maybe I can fill that because I couldn't find a single book on personal and, and small business cybersecurity. And so I set off on a five year journey to write the ultimate cybersecurity guide for small business and home computing. And uh, in the end, it was, <laughs> it was a 960 page book. And uh, boy, I, sometime I'll have to tell you in another video that whole journey. Uh, you know, because I, I, what I found out was really how much I did not know. Uh, in that journey, you know, because there's different that, that people don't understand. They say, well, you're a computer guy You're gonna know this. Well, no, I'm so for example, you throw me here's the fire break for California Hey, you know, maybe manage your forest. So uh, Yeah, I mean, it's a whole you you okay throw me in front of a uh, Apple computer Okay, a Macintosh for example, I, I wouldn't know what what to do You know, it was the same thing when I first got in front of a PC you know, I had been working on uh, text terminals with Unix my whole career. Uh, and then, you know, when, when I, that contract came to an end, I went into the shop and everybody had PCs. And they said, well, you know, just arrow down to the start button. What the hell is a start button? You know, I <laughs> never, never had a PC at that time. And I, you know, I was in the course, kind of like those mainframers, you know, if you know the guys that work on the IBM mainframes, you know, they're, they're computer illiterate when it comes to using PCs. And so that particular job, they, they tried to find me work, but you know, I had to learn on the job. And I did, every day I studied, uh, you know, um, access. I learned how to use Word. I became a Word expert. I became Excel. You know, all of the tools, the PowerPoint, I was putting together presentations. And eventually they just kicked me out the door and said, this guy's an idiot. Cause I, you know, it took, because think about it, you got a lot of these people go to school four years to learn this stuff, and I, I did learn a lot in six months. So that's where it all began. This video is getting long. Might as well hike back to the campground, and uh, we'll finish up where that cybersecurity guy came from, 
and all the pitfalls of starting a small business that you're going to need to know. And that's enough for a video for today.